A winter storm hit the northeast at night, bringing the heaviest snowfall this winter to New York and creating treacherous conditions for morning commutes. Heavy snowfall occurred in the pre-dawn hours in the New York area and parts of New England, resulting in airport delays and cancellations and slower train and train movements. New York City schools remained open, but the hurricane caused school closings and delays across the region. At least five inches of snow covered the city and surrounding areas. By 7 a.m., Central Park in Manhattan had received 5.5 inches of snow and 8.4 inches at LaGuardia Airport in Queens, according to the National Weather Service. In the middle of the morning, elected officials began lifting motorway restrictions after urging passengers to stay off roads and work from home if possible. The Metropolitan Transportation Authority, which operates the New York subway, said its teams are working to keep trains and buses running. If you must travel, be extra careful, schedule extra time and check service status before traveling, the authorities said in the morning. The Northern Metro, which is run by the authorities and serves the suburbs north of the city, was on Saturday due to the storm. At 8 a.m., the New York and New Jersey Ports Authority suspended all commuter train services. The agency later restored some of the services. The National Weather Service issued a pre-noon winter weather warning for the New York region, warning that roads would be slippery and urging drivers to be careful. In New Jersey, Governor Phil Murphy declared a state of emergency that began at 10 p.m. and ordered government agencies to delay opening until 11 a.m. In the morning, he said there were 90 accidents on the state's roads during the storm. For the first time this winter, snow plows have cleared New York City's streets, according to spokesman Eric Adams, the city's new mayor. Earlier this week, the city was spared by a storm that caused up to a foot of snow to fall in parts of the mid-Atlantic states, including Atlantic City and other areas along the New Jersey coast. The Met Office is watching an evolving coastal storm that could bring heavy snow and devastating winds in some states late this weekend, although it is too early to predict the potential outcome or who could be hit hardest as the track is still five days away. For now, the hinterland will have the greatest snow potential. Most likely, it will fall at the end of Sunday and last until Monday, which can make commuting to work difficult for those who do not observe the federal Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. Rain or sleet is also possible. Any of these can have a significant impact on Monday's travel. Much is unclear at the moment regarding track forecast and temperature conditions, so stay tuned to our channel for the latest developments. More clarity on the forecast should emerge within a few days. Check out the latest weather warnings here.
natural disaster struck the United States. The city of Oswego, located in the state of New York, was hit by a never-before-seen blizzard. The village of Pulaski was badly damaged and was isolated by a sudden blizzard. There was a real car chaos on the roads. Cars got stuck in deep snow drifts, sliding on ice and skidding in snow drifts. A long queue of cars, which formed a traffic jam, almost completely blocked the passage on the main highways and several settlements. Power outages have been observed. During the day, about two meters of snow fell, which led to the closure of several main highways. There have been many road accidents. Information about the victims is being specified. Local authorities are urging residents to be extra careful, stay home and, if possible, refrain from long distance travel. What is clear now is that it is very cold outside. Early temperatures on Wednesday marked another cold start, with cold winds hovering around or below freezing. However, the wind will still be strong, and gusts up to 30 meters per second are possible on the coast. This can make it even more awkward on the outside. On Friday, the temperature dropped again to 30 degrees, and on Saturday approached the temperature of Tuesday, about 20 degrees. They rise to around 29 on Sunday and higher, to around 36 on Monday, which could affect potential snowfall. Expect below average temperatures in the second half of January with highs just above freezing for most of next week.